Hey, Tara! Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Oh, oh, I'm a happy hippo. Hi, Tara. We couldn't have an anniversary show without disembodied orgasm, Hippo. No, of course we couldn't. It's tradition. Why is it my camera working? Uh, I don't know. Fucking camera, why you do this? Where's I... the dancing hippo? Dancing hippo's right here. I fix. I like big hugs. I cannot lie. Never let a hug Just, pass me are, you, are you doing an entire hippo retrospective tonight? We have like an entire. There we go. Now there's my picture. I should now. Can you see me? Oh, now you can see me. Or you should. There we go. We're doing like a hippo retrospective tonight. All the, the various things you annoy me with. I don't have the farting one that Mike got me on hand. Oh, so sad. Yeah. I think that one's in the garage. I haven't, you know, I've only lived here since February, so I haven't gotten to entirely unpack. Oh, I guess we'll just have to survive somehow. Some of my hippos are still in a box in the garage. So this is the 15th anniversary of Radio Dead Air. I know! And do, do you wonder how much, like, what percentage of our audience is actually older than the show? Probably not enough. Exactly. Not nearly enough. You should all be either doing your homework or in bed or enriching your lives in some better way. The hipster look. It's my hip I I'm not trying to be a hipster. I'm fucking blind, okay? I like, like those, those contact lenses. Those are nice glasses. I like those glasses. What's wrong with those I glasses? I am hella fucking blind. I'm not a hipster. I just can't fucking see. I like those glasses. Those are nice glasses. Thank you. They're Ralph Lauren. I don't know who that is. He's like a totally important designer. Does he like work at at, at he Macy's? He generally designs the opening parade uniforms for the U.S. Olympic team, like every year for the past decade. So J.C. Penney's then? No. I don't know him. I'm sure he's a nice fellow. Have you ever watched the Olympic opening <clears throat> ceremonies? No. No, oh, because if you've seen his work, if you have, because he usually does the American uniforms. So you've been doing this with me about five years now. Little have over. I? I was thinking about it tonight, and I have no idea how long I've been. I was trying to figure out. I'm like, five years? It's been about 2010, Four? yeah. Yeah, sorry about 2010. You started doing the, uh, the video yeah. thing with me. I know it's been three states. Yeah, for me, too. Oh. No, when no, two. Started, no, I wait. Was yeah, married. Two. <laughs> three states, few boyfriends, two cats, lots of hippos, many, many haircuts. <sighs> well, it's another Monday night, which means it is time for the. God damn, it's been so fucking long. It's just so weird how long this has been. And people just don't get any less stupid. No, they don't. You would. I have never, never run out of material. And never. Sad. <laughs> like, don't you kind of wish we'd run out of material at some point? Like, I, I would gladly give up being a Z-list internet celebrity if it meant that people yeah. could stop being... Dumb. I ca I'm kind of like Batman. It's like, I want there to be a day where there's no longer a need for me. Yes. But there's never, it's not. But will there ever be a day when we don't need them? Yes, every fucking day. Every day. Where's, where's Miracle? Miracle's over sleeping on the couch. I elected to be nice and not disturb her today. Did I dress up tonight? No, I came straight from work. Well, you look nice. Thank you. 
All right, intro time. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little something we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with you? And, you know, I, I, I want to start this off tonight with a story about how, no matter how big a company is or people are, they can be complete imbeciles. There's been a lot of stuff in the media about piracy, quote unquote piracy, they call copyright infringement piracy because it's scarier, but that's another thing. All this, this sort of stuff, and uh, Google's been issuing a lot of takedowns as requested by movie studios. A movie studio will find their, their stuff on the internet and they'll say, hey Google, take that re result down. Well, what's been revealed by Google will take the list of people who request to them to take, and they will show what was requested to be taken down. And what's been revealed by all this is the fact that movie studios do not understand how to computer. Universal Pictures finds pirated Jurassic World on own local hosts fires DMCA takedown. Now what local host means, if you ever see the IP address 1.27 dot zero dot zero dot one it's kind of like those old horror pictures the call is coming from inside the house that's that's the ip address that's assigned to your computer as far as your internet's fine well apparently universal pictures france appears to attract down one source of pirated copies of dino flick jurassic world in the, in a deliberate uh, Digital Millennium Copyright Act notice obtained by Chilling Effects, an entity called TMG on behalf of Universal's French Limb demanded that Google re remove from its search results links to many other st blah, 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 blah. Also on the list is 1.27.0.0.1 colon 4001. As most reg readers will know, the 1.27001 IP4 address is observed by the computer you're working from also known as the local host, which means the pirate link Universal wants to squash is in its own very own bit barn. Well, obviously, it's like Dennis Nedry was pirating copies from the other <laughs> and the Velociraptors got wind of it, and uh, uh, they didn't uh, have that girl who uh, knew uh, who uh, was. So. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Do you remember how she, like, hacked Jurassic Park? She's it's like, a Unix, a Unix system. system. I know this. And it's all, like, big pill. And I'm like, no computer system looks like that. That's not a Unix system. I don't know what fucking X window like, shit you were running. That wasn't Unix. I'm not a programmer. I'm not a hacker. I'm a fucking Mac user. But I can tell you, no computer system has ever looked like that. But, sure. Okay. This, oh, this is very, this is very frustrating, especially for folks like me who make. But think about like the people that wrote that scene are probably the same people that were like, oh my god, <laughs> like clearly the Jurassic World people, not the most tech savvy. But it's 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 just it's frustrating for people like me who make content for the internet, and our shit gets like, oh, you're using that, and sometimes it's by people who have no fucking connection whatsoever. They're just claiming shit. And there is no, I repeat this for those of you who don't understand this, there is no penalty whatsoever for filing a false DMCA takedown. None. There's no legal recourse, no penalty. All you have to do is say, oh, I made that in good faith, and you're fine. Even if it's bullshit, you say, oh, no, I really believe that. Even if you didn't make it? Yep. That's nope. dumb. That is very dumb. That was, that. well, the... the the industry, the, the entertainment media industry kind of wrote the DMCA, which is well, why it's dumb. Yeah. They had to do something during that writer's strike. Uh, let's move on to something a little bit closer to our own level of stupid. And yet again, this is the second time in a while that this group or this, this subculture, I guess, is popped up in our, our radar. Do you remember the last naked bike ride story we had? Yeah. I still am mystified by the concept of a naked bike ride. Well, they're 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 coming off of the streets and into the coffee houses. 
Naked man upsets cafe customers as promotion goes horribly wrong. Philly naked bike ride promotion made the wrong impression Friday when co-organizer Tom Demetrio showed up at the popular Fishtown coffee spot Rocket Cat Cafe. He was completely naked. Though Demetrio had pre-approved the promotion with the cafe's owner Karen Brees, it seems there may have been a major miscommunication. According yeah. To, according to Brees, she agreed to let Demetrio pass out flyers in the shop while naked. Stop. Stop. Eating establishment plus naked equals no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's some kind of health code violation. But she believed he'd be respectfully covered in body paint while doing so. Never assume. And if even- you tell somebody they can do a thing naked, never assume that they're gonna, like, n no, no. And did you see they did, I forget, some coffee creamer company just did a commercial where they opened like a fake coffee shop somewhere and gave out free coffee all day, but all the baristas were naked except for body paint. Like they painted clothes on them. And that doesn't, that, that doesn't count as clothing. No. You're still naked. Yes. And especially, you know, women, you can argue that one way or the other, but with dudes, you're naked with protrusions. I don't care if you paint that thing blue, it's still a dick. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's just now your dick is blue. It's still a dick. It's still hanging out there for all the world to see, but now it's blue. My problem is more... See, I think the body paint thing is easier for men because all your tackle is on the outside. <laughs> There's much less chance of any of that paint migrating to an internal place it shouldn't be and causing a massive infection. Uh, okay, Matt, uh, Matt House in the channel says, blue balls, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. But even, even still, look. But we've gone off topic. Like, yeah. I... I why would you assume? Like, I mean, I assumed he'd just wear body paint. Well, one, he'd still be naked. And two, why would you assume that? Yeah, no one wants to show, you know what? You're on your way to work. You need a latte. You want to get there quickly. Maybe a muffin, you know. You stop in. You're like, hey, could I have a and suddenly penis? Yeah. Nothing good ever happens in, you know, suddenly penis. That's, that's it. Everything that falls. I'm humming the song from Little Shop of Horrors. Suddenly, penis is standing beside me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, that's not the kind of steam wand you're hoping to run into at the coffee shop. Yes. Don't. I mean, why would, why would, you, why would you could think people would be suddenly compelled? to join your naked bike ride. It's like, oh, I'll demonstrate. No, we've got the naked concept down. We yeah, I kind of, I, I'm, my blame is lying more with the manager here. Why would you agree to that? Why would you be like, yeah, no, you can hang out in my public place of business naked and hand out flyers, my place where I serve food? It's not, you know, it's, especially, it gets a little weird. Someone gets a biscotti and they start nibbling on it and then just some, it suddenly feels wrong. Or like an eclair. An eclair. Oh, God, an eclair's worse. It's suddenly, you got the eclair and you're like. And then in surprise, you squeeze it. Ah. And it pops out. That's not, that's, that is not. And suddenly you're in an Adam Sandler movie. Uh... And nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Pixels, Pixels crashed completely. I was so happy. Just so happy about that. There. The reviews have been pretty great. Oh my god, the reviews. They, they didn't just scorch the earth. They have been dropping white phosphorus. You know what's sad is that had the potential to be a really great movie if they hadn't let Adam Sandler touch it. Yes. Like if they had like Chris Hardwick and Felicia Day make that movie. Oh fuck yeah. That would have been a great movie. But Keep no. Peter Dinklage. He can stay because Peter Dinklage. But like, yeah. if you had 
people who really, really would have enjoyed that material make that movie instead of Adam fucking Sandler. That's a concept that could have been a lot of fun. I didn't see it. Maybe it is awesome. I just know the reviews were terrible. Yes. Well, this next one, all right, I, I like I, I said earlier tonight, I try to make a, a, a habit of not doing stories where people got hurt, but I think I can use this one because the getting hurt was not the result of the story, it was the cause of the story, if, if that makes any sense. And also, I think we've gone a little weird in our relation, in our societal relationship to Walmart. Gunshot victim dropped off at Florida Walmart instead of hospital. And yes, it's Florida! We really need to dig up um, Derek's Florida anthem. Oh, Florida! Uh, police say a shooting victim was apparently taken by a friend. That's not a friend. That's not your friend. To a South Florida Walmart instead of a hospital and left outside the store. The victim was suffering from a gunshot wound when he was left outside the store Monday afternoon. He was later taken to a hospital for treatment, so listed in stable condition. Police are still trying to determine where the shooting happened, but it wasn't in the store or the parking lot. Says the victim hasn't been cooperative with investigators. All right. Walmart has a lot of things. But not surgery. It does not have triage. No. Walmart does not have a triage unit. Why would you drop somebody at Walmart because they've been shot? Like, you figure, hey, you know what? The gauze is in aisle five. They got, like, sewing kits. Work that shit out. You'll be fine. And it won't cost you very much. Always low prices. So, mm. hey, it's better than your insurance plan. It's, like, 20 bucks worth of stuff. You're fine. You just... just motherfucker. Blood on oh yeah, computer run and blood on aisle four. Blood on aisle four. That you know what I do you think Walmart actually has like a code for bodily fluids in, in various oh, aisles? Sure. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm confident that they do. Look at just the stories we've done, and that's just the shit that's hit our radar. <laughs> they probably have different codes for different bodily fluids. Like there's a code for urine, there's a code for feces, there's a code for fucking semen. Like Dave. I can't find the list on the link for what the what's the code for stomach bile? I need to call it in. Y'all get out of aisle seven. Y'all no, don't go to aisle seven. There's stuff on no. <laughs> I just what the how does this happen? Like <laughs> Was okay. this the person that shot them? Because that would make a little bit of sense. Otherwise, like First of all, either way, this person is not your friend. Even uh, if they fucking do the kill bill and drive you out to the front of the hospital and roll you down the hill into the parking lot. Yeah. Better than just dropping you at the Walmart. At the Walmart. I just, it, it, who even put this together that, you know, that this would be, was this like when they were searching Siri? Siri, I need medical attention. And Siri took him to the Walmart. Maybe. Siri's not very smart sometimes. No, Siri's terrible. Although Siri once did, my sister got very angry and threw her phone and, I don't know, let, let loose a bunch of swears and happened to activate Siri and Siri responded, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? Well, that probably didn't help the situation. No, but my nine-year-old nephew was, was telling that joke for months. Guess what Siri said to mommy? <laughs> uh, well, we I have my 15th anniversary tonight, but someone else is having a very special anniversary. His 10th anniversary. His 10th anniversary of anonymously pooping on golf courses. What? Mystery pooper targeting holes of New Norwegian golf course. And I, I swear to God, I, you can't not love a headline that features the phrase, mystery pooper. I, I cannot love that. <laughs> Hars, oh my God. That is, okay, this, this location is cheating. I would like to buy a vowel. H-A- <laughs> it's, it's Norway, man. It's, 
H-A-F-R-S-F-J-O-R-D. Pat, I would like to buy a vowel. Groundskeeper of a Norwegian... Hafersfjord. I think you can get one of those at Ikea. <laughs> the groundskeeper of a Norwegian golf course said a mystery pooper targeting course holes must be a man because, quote, the poos are too massive to be from a woman. I don't know, man. Okay, that's just sexist. <laughs> Oh, Kenneth. Like, a, a woman eats a lot of food at Applebee's and she's going to have exactly the same digestive problems as your average man. Do they have Applebee's in Norway? Probably not. Kenneth Tensfjord, groundskeeper of the uh, Stavanger Golf Course of uh, Golf Club, says he's been finding human feces and toilet paper in course holes since 2005. He has a couple of favorite holes. Tensfjord no, told the newspaper. Most men do. <laughs> uh, he poos only on weekdays. On weekends, I've never found poo on the golf course. He said the fecal, fecal discoveries are usually accompanied by used toilet paper. Um, the, let's see. Uh, the club installed high-powered spotlights to discourage the defecation, but the poopetrator, oh, really? The poopetrator disabled them. He climbed a tree next to the lights and wiggled far out on a branch and dismantled the spotlights. How he managed his feet without electrocuting himself or falling is a riddle. Uh, the Elfsvik said the pooper's motives are unknown. Our idea for, could be someone for who, unknown reasons, hates the game of golf. Motherfucker, you don't need a reason to hate the game of golf. Well, no. That's, that's sort of the default. I mean, I live right outside this window. It's like... 50 feet of backyard, and then a golf course. And it has never once occurred to me that I should go and poop in one of the holes in the golf course. Well, no, even worse, this t for 10 years? I know. And that's, to, that's, to, that's like performance art. For th that, is, that is a career. Yeah, weekends off. <laughs> so what do you do? I poop in the golf course. Oh. What's your health plan don't. like? Yes. Like, uh, who keeps this up for 10 years? Oh, Jesus. I mean, you, you didn't, did you not? <laughs> no, going to get evicted. <laughs> Dan is the Ed McMahon to Tara's Johnny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could take the cat out and let her poop in the holes. She, for, for a tiny little cat, she, oh the amount of poop that comes out of that creature is pretty amazing. I'm just, for, for 10 years, don't, learn the guitar. <laughs> Something. Bowling, roller learn skating. Quilt, join a book club. Yes. Learn to golf. Okay, D.A. Scott Jr. wins. They should make a movie about this. Two girls, one tin cup. <laughs> That's our title this week. Could they, could they get Kevin Costner for that? <laughs> He's not doing anything. Mm. Didn't he just do a thing last year with the running team? It was like a super inspirational movie because he made a track team out of kids that were racially non-disposed to being a track team or oh, something. Every, all right. Another great one in the channel. This is literally I'm getting too old for this shit. 
Yeah, when you've been pooping on a golf course every every weekday for 10 years, it's time to reevaluate some stuff. Yeah, you should think about your life. There's there's not a lot of future in that plan. Like I'm really sorry that Tiger Woods cheated on you, Ellen, but it's time to let it go. <laughs> that is kind of, you know, it couldn't possibly be a woman. Uh, don't count them out. They can poop with the best of us. Oh, yeah. Kevin Costner was in Man of Steel telling Clark Kent to let a busload of kids die. Yeah, I, I think they get in for a golf pooping movie after that. Yeah. Well, we have another incident of people breaking into other people's houses just to, like, stay. And this <laughs> one is... Re just hang. This one is weird as all fuck. And look at this mugshot. This guy is so mad he got caught. Look at him. He is mad. <clears throat> Man breaks into home, hides under bed for three days while <laughs> charging cell phones. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Man breaks into home, hides under bed for three days while charging cell phones. You can do oh. that at Starbucks, you know? Who needs monsters under the bed when total strangers will do the job for you and charge their cell phones, no less? A New Jersey man has been arrested and charged with criminal trespass, burglary, and this is the best part, theft of services for the electricity from charging the phones. Really? That's just petty. <laughs> After Wait, this is New Jersey? This is New Jersey. I live in New Jersey. Oh, no. After... Where? after he allegedly walked into a stranger's home while that owner took out the trash and then hid under a guest room bed for three days. Jason Hubbard was discovered by the homeowner after his three-day stay under the bed, his only activity charging four cell phones. Multiple media outlets report the homeowner was alerted to Hubbard's presence after hearing a noise. Well, I guess he got a text message at that point. Hey, dude, you finished charging your phones? Yeah. Four cell phones. Why do you need four cell phones? Why do you need three days? Yeah. I can charge my phone in two hours. If it's... Mine charges in about an hour from like 5% to 100. Like, it, it, you were doing more than charging cell phones down there. You were just camping out. It's... Under the bed, just be like, well, this is a perfect plan. <laughs> and now, now, great, now Tara's going to be checking under the bed for like ever now. Like four people have told me to check under the bed. I have a big old box of shoes, like a big old Rubbermaid thing of shoes under my bed. So they'd have to move that and I would notice. Yeah, people are pointing out, when did he eat? Where did he poop? Right? For three days? Like, did she not notice any food missing? Did he bring snacks? Was he, like, creeping out at night to go raid the fridge? Was he, like, ordering pizzas to be delivered to under the bed? Got a large pepperoni uh, for the duvet in the north room. There, you can go to... You don't even have to buy anything at Starbucks, and they'll no. just let you sit there for hours and do whatever you're going to do. Yeah, like, just plug the shit in. They don't give a fuck. You don't even have to buy anything. You can just sit there and use the Wi-Fi and charge your shit. Like, I mean, I just, really, charging your phone. You don't have to break and enter. And he's, he's so... A creeper. He's so... He looks he's like, man, I was just charging my phone. You were being weird as shit, dude! Yeah. <laughs> You, 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 you should be a little more contrite because what she was doing was some weird shit. And totally unnecessary weird shit. Like, you committed a totally unnecessary crime is the worst part. You committed a crime that you absolutely did not need to commit. Like, you are not stealing bread to feed your children, Jean Valjean. <laughs> you did a thing you absolutely did not have to do. Can you imagine his lawyer when he's looking at this? Okay, so you've been charged with... Really? Really? You don't understand. My daughter really needed to pay Candy Crush. <laughs> no. Uh, finally tonight, from Texas, deep in the heart of stupid. Um, 
Uh, yet again, god damn it, some of this stuff... This one got really fucking bad. I haven't, I literally have not done this kind of shit in, 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 since I was like a small little pyromaniac idiot when I was a kid. Mainly because it's a bad idea. But the best part is he was hired for this worker using fire to kill wasp nests started blaze that destroyed damaged Northwest Dallas homes. Is that an effective way to kill a wasp nest? It seems like a good way to piss it off. Now we know what caused the fire that destroyed one Northwest Dallas home this morning and severely damaged another. A worker who tried to kill a wasp nest using flammable fluid and a lighter. Investigators determined the fire was initially started when one of the workers found a wasp nest inside the storage shed and decided to burn it with a heat source and flammable liquid. After burning nest, the worker believed he had completely extinguished the flames. But after smoldering for an unknown amount of time, the flames eventually rekindled and started the aforementioned fire. <clears throat> I don't think that's an effective way to destroy a wasp nest. Mac wants the flamethrower. Mac wants the what? No. Like, okay, aren't you supposed to... Yes, technically it will destroy the hive, but... It's also going to piss off any of the ones that get out, which is yes. going to be a lot. Like, I know that smoke is supposed to subdue them. So is it smoke or steam? I don't remember. Whatever. I'm just saying there's probably a better way to go about this than a fucking can of Aquanet and a lighter. And even more, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where they make stuff specifically for this purpose. Yeah. If you are too damn lazy to hike your ass down to the family dollar and get yourself a can of fucking raid, you shouldn't be... Here's all we need to know about this story. Mike's comment is, and I quote, Oh yeah, you can burn out wasp nest. You can burn them out good. All we need to know. Mike is endorsing this action. Don't fucking do this. <laughs> yep. Mike's like, oh yeah, it's a perfect idea. No, nope, yeah, don't no, do it. I do don't it all the time. Nobody do it. And you put, bur dude, burn down somebody's house doing this shit. Yeah. Well done. No. <laughs> <laughs> it works. He's like, well, I could set the air on fire. I know how to do that. Uh. If we get a spider problem, yes. <laughs> bastards tried to take my leg <laughs> so you're willing to burn down the whole house for a spider yes I got him out of bed one night to kill a spider and it's I was on the couch watching Orange is the New Black and he was up in bed and I texted him up in bed and was like I tried to kill a spider and I knocked it onto the couch and I can't find it and made him wake up and come now I, I want to stress to folks at home this is not because Tara is squeamish this is because a spider almost fucking killed her one of those fuckers tried to take my leg I still have a giant fucking scar this is not hyperbole she got a spider bite and it went necrotic and she was in the hospital for weeks because no. well four days well four days and but the recovery was weak but for a month i had a hole in my leg that i had yeah. to pack with gauze every day myself they yeah so a ping pong ball out of my leg and so it's not because she's squeamish it's because you know i don't like spiders anymore <laughs> fuck spiders but no i mean you're if your job is what was this guy's job exactly i've got to find it says a worker but it doesn't specify yeah, what kind of worker? Now, if you're, like, landscaping or some shit, already this is out of your fucking purview. Right. This is, like, you, you need to call someone in on this because you're not trained. And look at these, look at the fucking pictures of what this guy did. Look at this shit. Yeah. There, there's that. No, that's, that is not good what happened there. No. Uh, okay, that's, all that's right. That's problem than wasps. Mathton's in the channel says, he's probably fired now. <laughs> P probably. Yes, it was. I was bit by a black brown recluse and then ended up getting MRSA on top of it. And it sucked. 
I don't like spiders. So I, I mean, who likes wasps either? Wasps fucking suck. I wouldn't want a giant wasp nest either, but just, you know. But wasp, wasps are ass. I wouldn't, all right, I would not go up to wasp with fire because. No. Number one, they're going to get out of the way. Number two, they're going to be angry. Number three, those little bastards are psychotic. Yeah, they're angry already. They will sting until they're out of venom and then they're just making little holes in you. They don't yeah. care. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. Uh, everything is bigger in Texas, including fires. I used to, at my old condo, we wasps every year would build a giant nest on the screen. And we would just go out once a week and spray that motherfucker with Clorox cleanup. And then close the window. <laughs> and then clean out the... It was creepy. Like, we'd have to then sweep out the window that was all full of bleached white wasp car carcasses. Yeah, but you didn't use fire. No! That's, that's the first thing we learned tonight. Fire is not the answer to everything. Yeah. Especially when we have cheap, readily, readily available products made specifically for the task. It's not just like, well, I could go to the store or fire. Or fire. <laughs> or fire. We've and learned. Fire, sure, I get, is the more exciting option. Fire's the sexier option. Fire's the more aliens option. And fire is also the more lawsuit option. Yeah, and the more dead option. We, the more hideously disfigured option. We've learned you don't have to break into someone else's house and live there for three days hidden to charge your phone. Go no. to Starbucks. Most a lot of public places are gonna let you do that now, dude. Go to go to fucking how you don't. Panera. Panera has outlets next to every table. I can't tell you how many times I went and got a fucking soup just so I could charge my phone. You, I guarantee you, you throw a rock in any given town, you it's gonna land on a Starbucks. They're everywhere. Yeah. Go to Starbucks. We've learned people. Some people take ho their hobbies seriously, including pooping on golf courses. You know, you gotta, you gotta devote yourself to something in this life. I, even if it's a poop in one. I have devoted myself to yelling fuck on the internet. Exactly. And I, I think I've come out the winner in this equation. I mean, maybe he has plumbing problems at home. I wonder if you can get a... not on the weekends. I wonder if you can get a Patreon for pooping on golf courses. Probably. Probably. As long as you videotape it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you for videotaping yourself committing a crime, so... We've learned that Walmart has many things. Healthcare is not one of them. Yeah, no. Gunshots go to the hospital. Hospital. In certain states, as I understand it, if you want a gun, you can go to Walmart. Right. Not if you want to treat a gun shot. shot. Right. Do you go to Walmart? No. We've learned yet again, no one wants to see your penis, especially while they're having a latte. No. That's not good. That's not what they mean by extra foam. Finally, with this week, we've learned that the people who are so concerned about their digital content getting loose online have no fucking idea how computers work. Big <laughs> surprise. Wouldn't it be great if Google was like, yeah, don't even tell them, just delete that copy and see what happens. <laughs> they can't sue us. They fucking asked us to do it. Just, just do it. This hey. is like... People at Google must be just so fucking exhausted. Can you imagine, like, worse than the if Google was a guy video? Like, imagine the guy who handles those requests for, from Google. He's got to be exhausted and hate everybody. That's when you use fire. Yes. Oh, uh, well, Tara, 
thank you for happy anniversary thank you. and thank you for tonight and thank you for five years of of helping me with this shit i could not do this I said, without you i said earlier i, I i'm appalled you haven't fired me 